Now the basic numericals which have been asked from this unit 3 section are find the maximum power of the pulse if the measured pulse duration of a laser is 80 nanoseconds and its energy is 1.8 joule so what formula are we going to use which we did right now in the previous lecture that we just take an approximation of the triangular pulse and the area under it so p is equal to e upon uh, the time period taken here which we have been given we will put the values nanosecond is 10 to the power of minus 9 rest units are all in the mks form and we get the answer just simply by putting the values a laser operating with Q switch produces pulse duration of 0.8 milliseconds and its energy is 8 joule. If the same laser operating with Q switch produces a pulse duration of 20 nanoseconds with energy of 2 joule, assuming a triangular pulse shape, you have to calculate the peak power of the pulse. So the peak power of the pulse is, once again, we use the formula P is equal to E upon del T and we put the values and we get the answer. Numericals here are very simple. A laser diode emits 1,50,000 1, pulses per second. The duration of each pulse is 30 nanoseconds. Calculate the duty cycle. So the time period is 1 upon F what have we been given? We have been given the frequency as 1.5 into 10 to the power of 5. So we get the time period duty cycle is equal to del T half upon capital T. And this gives us the answer. Q switching yttrium uh, laser produces 2000 pulses per second. Average power of the laser is 10 watt. Calculate the average energy per pulse. Energy of a single pulse is the energy in one second divided by this. So energy is equal to P of average upon F. Simple, we put the values and we get the answer. Quickly, let us revise the whole unit 3. Active medium, pumping and optical resonator. These are the three essential components with which a laser is made. Principle of laser action is stimulated emission. On the basis of output, we say we have two types, continuous wave and the pulsed ones. Active mediums are of three types, solid, liquid or dye. And the process in which the saturation gain drops for each lasing mode from the small signal to the threshold gain is known as Whole burning. When the output power of laser is appearing in the form of pulses, it is said to be a pulsed wave laser. If we somehow make it reduce the duration of laser in which energy is concentrated in the single pulse, then it will be said to be a very short pulse generation. So Q switching is a very common technique to produce short laser pulses which are coming in the range of nanoseconds. And mode locking is the technology which allows generation of optical pulses as extremely short laser pulses, which are coming in the range of picoseconds or femtoseconds, that is 10 to the power of minus 12 or 10 to the power of minus 15. But the peak power is very high. And the output power of mode lock laser is periodic in time interval, which is equal to the round trip transit time for light within the cavity. That means time is equal to distance upon speed, that is 2NL divided by C. Two type of mode locking lasers are there, the active mode locking laser and the passive mode locking laser. Few questions which are asked very commonly in section A.